Okay, right. So this is the areas. This is the updated plan. This is what the areas will look like eventually once um, Greenbelt have taken them all. So this is a plan that's now been updated. Obviously, this is quite a way away before all the areas come over. But I thought I'd just show you this to give you information. I think, John, you may have seen this previously with Robin the other week, didn't you? Um, right. and, I th and I think it's a plan to put something with regards to Google Maps or to tie something in with it eventually. Is that the plan? Uh, absolutely, yes, Nick. So um, I'm putting together a map uh, that will be a, a Google Map overlay uh, that will have all of this information for the parts of North Stow that are uh, going to be operated by Greenbelt and all of the other operators for, for different pieces like uh, County Council, etc. So that you can you can basically just click on the area on the map that you want to want to know about and it'll it'll ping up with who is the person to contact. One thing I mentioned to you the other week, and I don't know if it's something that's worth looking at still, is possibility of probably Q, uh, QR codes. Is that something that you could look at still, do you think we could think of doing around the, the development? Oh. Absolutely. Um, we'd be happy to, uh, if, if you can if you can organise the QR codes, we'd be happy to print and distribute them out. Yeah, I think that's something we're going to ask our, our IT department on. So they're the areas eventually that will be transferred over to us. And these are the two developments or areas that we're maintaining at the moment. We've got the Blair Homes on the left hand side and we've got Barrett Homes on the right hand side. Yes, we have received a few queries recently on the Blair Homes development, uh, Blair Homes development, um, just purely because residents were questioning about verge strips, etc. But the areas that are shaded green are the areas that we manage and maintain. And this is the this is basically um, a site plan that will go out to these residents on the Bloor Homes development and subsequent areas, David Wilson's, et cetera, Lyndon, they will all get a plan to identify the areas that we will main on, on these as they come across. But these are the two areas and developments that we've got at the moment and subsequently these are the areas we're managing and maintaining. No issues as far as I'm aware on the Barrett Homes one. And as I say, we've only had two or three queries on the Bloor Homes and that's just been mainly verge strips and a couple of small questions. I know sometimes we highlight everything green too, but if it's tarmac or a path or something that we may have, it will still be highlighted green normally. If it's a road, it may be highlighted in a different colour, but that will be denoted on the plan. OK, and then that's just a little bit of information that I think we've given you before about Greenbelt. We're now on over 67,000 units with uh, or households with residents, so it's growing all of the time. And bear in mind, we try and take on, we look to, well, we take on average around 400 new households a month. So we, it's quite a quite a busy time as well at the moment. And again, this is a service that we offer. This is something that we've gone through before in the previous uh, presentations, but it's just for people to see if they've got any questions or queries. But these are the type of services that we do offer. We want, if there are any queries or questions that residents have, by all means, contact myself or contact our dedicated customer care department. Again, if you look here, the dedication to our service again, we will always make sure that the contractors that we use, they have to fill in a pre-qualifying questionnaire so that we won't take any Tom, Dick and Harry. We will always make sure that they satisfy everything that we've got. They adhere to a code of conduct. We have regular site supervision. That'll be our guy who'll come out at least once a month, every month to make sure everything is being managed and maintained correctly. We have real-time reporting again, that is to make sure that we, we get that from the contractor. And we also have our, our site supervision users real time reported as well. If there are any issues, the customer care team are there. What will happen at the end of the year, you will get a, a full breakdown of your bill, but also you'll get your written statement of services, which highlights all of the components on each individual phase. Now, all of the residents that live on the Barretts and Bloor homes will have received that. And at the end of the billing period, they will have a full breakdown of the costs implemented to their development. The contractor's costs are always charged at cost. There is no mark upon that cost anywhere at all from Greenbelt. So all of these things, we try to be as transparent as we can. OK. And then lastly, as I say, the annual management charge. Well, I know that they vary to each phase, so there's no point in putting that in, really. But this has been agreed with the developers at early inception. And as I said, there will be an increase tied to inflation rates. So let's say somebody bought the house two or three years ago. Inflation will have been applied to that to where we get now. But there's many of, uh, flexible payment options. There's direct debit. There's, um, they can pay quarterly. They can pay in one go, whatever. As long as it, you know, make an arrangement, then that's fine. 
if they have any problems or if anybody does have any issues when they are subsequently billed, contact the billing department, they'll look to help. And this is basically to give you information of where to contact us. If you have anything, the um, customer care telephone number there, and there's also the dedicated customer care um, email address. Okay.